being super attractive in that, so I'm doing my best angle, but that way I can teach you and oh, then no, also. Awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna have my hands in the ring like this, and then I'm gonna find the top edge, so it's just like the outer piece, and bring it about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna walk it down. If you just like grab it, it will most likely twist. So instead we walk the fabric down just like this. And then I open the rings and I make sure that it's not twisted. And I'm gonna take that through. I'm gonna get close to the camera to show you. So I take it through and I pin it to that. Take this through and pin it to that. So that way, this is a circle and I pull this extra through. Okay. Then I go ahead and make sure it didn't twist. It didn't, perfect. Now I'm going to size it. So the ring, I like my ring here, and the other part I'm gonna pull down just to about hip height. Now it also depends on the size of baby, so you could probably go in a little bit more for her, but if you do it for the toddler, I give myself extra room. So immediately I can tell that I've been doing this for a 15 month old because I gave myself more room than I usually would. I automatically went like two inches past my waist just by, <laughs> that's what I do right now. So then I'm gonna open it up Make sure this isn't twisted as much as possible. And then I'm going to do, I call it the Britney Spears belt because it was that like time era. <laughs> yes. Over the first loop and under yes. the second. I'm getting ready to not be able to say that though because this like new generation of new moms of like are not, we don't really know. I know what the 90s about. belts are. But yeah, I don't know if kids are going to like, I know, I'm like, oh. gonna know. You're like, why would you Those do that? Those have to come back in style. <laughs> they will, too. That would be mm -hmm. funny. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure that the ends meet up. So that basically, when you see what we call this is the tail, it loops all the way through nice and, like, not twisted. A lot of times, the it's always harder when it's, like, mm -hmm. um, different colored. But a lot of times this piece right here will be like in the middle or over here. So then when you pull this, it's not gonna like pull here. It'll twist in the middle. So basically you just wanna make sure if I pull this outside, will it tighten where I want to? That's why it's super important. That was the most detailed that anybody's shown that. <laughs> um, this was like a 24 hour class in total over mm -hmm. six weeks. So it was, yeah, and when we, I had to test and explain it. Oh, wow. Yeah, and you, like, can't miss anything, so. <laughs> and then, okay, so to hold this to put it on, I grab above the ring because this is sewn in, so this isn't going anywhere. If I grab here, all that work I did will most likely twist. So I'm going to grab above the ring. Now, I know for me, I like my ring on this side. And then the other hand is going to go that would through. Leave what, your left hand? Free, or which hand would that leave free? You should be able to leave both. both. Okay, the baby right. will sit here. Okay. In your case, newborn, they're gonna be more here, right? Yeah. But if they were off to the side, it would be this side because okay. the ring will be on this side. So I'm gonna put it on just like a t-shirt. So again, above the ring for this side, that's where the ring will be. Then this hand that's free is gonna go in just like a t-shirt and put it on. Now, as soon as I put it on, I'm going to do two things. I'm, I over-accentuate my ring be a tiny, tiny bit higher, so when I adjust, it doesn't end up here. Um, it shouldn't, but it also depends on the give of the fabric, how, how much it's like broken in, if it will move or not. So I over-accentuate immediately. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this isn't twisted. So I find this edge right here and I can walk that all the way around doesn't okay. twist same thing with this once you get like a pro at it sometimes people purposely twist because it looks pretty in the back depending on the fabric but mm -hmm. this wouldn't be one that like makes it prettier necessarily mm -hmm. but if it's like two-toned sometimes people do that because it makes it pretty it <laughs> still makes it hard funny. to tighten though and it can cause a knot if you're gonna be like sitting down okay your back so it's funny Okay, so the next thing I gotta know is, do I have enough space for baby? Mickey probably could use a little bit more, 
but I'm gonna say it's good for now, okay? So if I needed more though, I'd easily just lift up on this and either pull the top a little bit or the bottom a little bit. The top I have a lot, so actually let's give myself a little bit on the bottom. And that's part of this not being twisted. I can easily do that. If it's twisted, it will not move that easily. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming we should do the newborn hold more so. Mm -hmm. So I will say the older she is, like after three months, it becomes so much easier to breastfeed. So it is a little bit harder in any carrier. Um, the solely wrap, she has to actually be, you can kind of do it in there. But in order to safely get her back in, you have to take the entire thing off. So I'm glad we're doing this. Um, yeah, whatever's the easiest. <laughs> so just to get up nice and close, this piece, which was the bottom, is now going to come up to the top of my chest, just like a tube top. And I want this pretty tight. Now, if you follow it around, it is this. There's so much fabric here. Where did it go? It is this outer edge. So I'm gonna gently pull this way. Now, you really actually wanna pull this way towards the fabric, otherwise it bunches just like it did. Okay. It's really easy to wanna pull down. I just did it, I still made that mistake because it just seems the natural thing to do, but you actually wanna follow the fabric, otherwise it will twist. So not a big deal, I caught it pretty early on, so I'm just gonna fan that back out. Um, but this has got a nice, probably even do it a little bit tighter. Um, tube top. What I'm doing is I'm actually creating a hammock. So I'm actually going to switch characters. I'm going to use, is this okay? Yeah. Okay. So he's pretty tiny, but Mickey's kind of too big for this. So a little in between. <laughs> so now I'm going to put baby in however I want. Um, you could put her here. You technically could put her a little bit closer to the chest. Okay. It's totally up to you. Um, if you put her here, you might find that you want to go ahead before you put her in and just slightly adjust this a little bit up. It was totally fine, but I'm just going to keep in mind that she's right here and she starts moving her hand out. You might want it just a slightly. Um, this is also, this carrier specifically is nice because it's already fanned out. If you use a different one, that's not like the way that it's sewn in, it's already fanned out for you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and pull that out before you put baby in, otherwise okay. it'll bunch into your neck. You don't necessarily have to cap the shoulder, but you can. Some people like that, some people don't. Totally preference thing. So I'm gonna get go ahead and get her in. If we've got a hammock, right? And then at this top piece, I'm actually gonna pull up over her head and come back down. The reason we do that is because it creates a cushion. Rather than one piece being in the back of her neck like this, it's gonna create a fold. The fold is a lot more cushioning. At her age, you could also take a baby washcloth and put it right here just to fold and tuck that in. It's a lot more cushiony if you got that. The older they get, the more they don't care. They have like more neck strength and they don't really want something hot on the back of them um, with like hairs on it. So just something to keep in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and get all of this out of my armpit. I'm going to pull it across. I always have one hand on the back, um, but I got all that slack. Right, so we already went, put baby in, we brought it up, put, came down, that's that fold. That's what, if I was just holding her, that's what would be my hand. So that's what that piece does, which is why we want it to be cushiony. So now all I have to do is I have this piece right here that does the top. I'm gonna pull it towards the fabric and now I've tightened it. That is how you get into this carrier properly. Now you see when I did the tube top, I could have pulled it out of my armpit a little bit more, but it's not really a big deal. So to get out of it, I just slightly pull up just so it gives me enough space and I bring baby we'll out. Like nurse then from there. So for nursing, okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to slightly do it like that. We're going to swing baby to the side. Okay. Just like so. So now they're going to be more like this. Now okay. this... This particular baby has a huge butt, so if she's more <laughs> bunched, um, they're probably gonna be more like laid out, just okay. like they would um, like they, where we are right now. And then all I have to do is slightly dip this down, and I can even put it like right underneath my bra, um, and boom. If you wear like a tighter sports bra, mm -hmm. um, it's easier to put that, well, it's not even like a sports bra necessarily, but like, something that has um 
like the clip. Tell me has a clip will be oh that will be okay, but play around with it with your breasts. I always found that if it was like a more spandexy material, when I put it under my boob, it actually helped it like push up. Okay, that makes sense. Where if you just have an unclip, it's just gonna be what it is. It's mm -hmm. just right there. So it depends on your breast and where the baby is on the breast. And then I'm right here. Technically, it's not completely hands free, but you're gonna end up like this. This hand will be completely hands free. Okay. So to get her back, all you have to do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'll move her up a little bit. I'll do whatever I need to do with my bra. I pull this up and then I can adjust her. And then I just need to bring that up, bring it back down. And now I need to tighten both because I know that the I messed with this. So I need to make sure the hammock portion of it is also tightened. Now okay. see, I pulled down again. Mm -hmm. It is very like, that is the one thing I almost always make the mistake and then I kind of have to fix this. So even as an educator who's done this a lot and taken the whole still course, happens. it still happens. Um, now, people always ask me about this. You can um, worry about that later on. Um, just pay attention to like when you're stringing it through. If you want it on the outside or the inside, I actually like it on the inside. Because if my phone is in there, then no one's going to mess with it, especially my kids. If it's on the outside and they see that they can get in there, or I put my wallet or something in there, I don't really want it out for everyone to see. If you're using this and you're walking around, you can also take this, put it through here. And now I'm protecting that this is going to get hot because it's metal. And it is a little bit prettier. So you can do fun, like, tie a little knot, make it look cute. Um, you can also... I think that was Chero showed using that for behind the neck. Do yes, you... I was just going to okay. say that. I don't. I, I just, it, it never works out for me. But yes, you can twist it here and then tuck yeah, this the tucking kind of tucked part it under the under the wrap. Yeah, you can go all like, the way through it. Like where you had it under the neck, like that fabric under the. Oh yeah, neck. yeah, you, yeah. So you could she tuck it that. under yeah, here. Yeah, it seemed to stay okay. And yeah, it made you can. me feel a little bit better because it gave her a little bit of support. Yep, you could yeah, do like that. that. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Okay. So that's a personal thing. It just it always gets. Like it always gets bunchy. There. It's always too much for my babies where they're hot. So me personally, I don't like it, but absolutely you can do that. Okay. It's not wrong by any means I'll just because I, it's not my personal preference, but I, for me, I always preferred if I was going to put something up there, just do a little, um, washcloth. Wash cloth. Yeah. Cause I never okay. know what to do with those anyways. Like we have a ton and I yeah. don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's actually what I use them for. I didn't really use yeah, them for washcloths. Just sitting in there. So like, okay. to get out and just do like this, I hold her, wiggle her out. I could even change her and I could put her back in and I just need to make sure both are still tightened. Um, and if you want to practice with one of these guys, you should be able to have it tightened enough now I'm kind of doing this messy, but you get it tightened enough that if I bend down, I feel so safe and the baby cool. feels so safe. Okay. You should be able to be hands free. Perfect. Yeah. And you should be able to kiss the top of the head as well. So, um, if you ever get where you're then doing the one that's like this because they are now bigger, see, it's easy to get your fabrics. That was probably one thing you will have a hard time because of the colors. You'll probably play mind games with your head. <laughs> um, but if you adjust them down because they're bigger, like I could do this with my 15 month old, not at breastfeed anymore, but if I did, I would then take him from like here and we would wiggle down and he would feed. Okay. Um, and I'd probably still wear more of like a spandex just so I could easily mm -hmm. pop up the boob, but he's big so. enough, he could also just do what he wants with the boob. Okay. Not that I love that, but it's just true. <laughs> they figure it out, right? So if that's the case, and I put my bra back up, and I actually have to wiggle him back up, and then I need to make sure that I can top, kiss the top of his head. Okay. So, cool. and then if they're like laying and anything, they need, as soon as they're done breastfeeding, they need to be set back up and re So you still again. use that for your 15 month old? Yeah, I use okay. this for my three year old. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask. She's is what like, age can you? She's like 30, 27? 27 pounds, okay. so she's smaller, but 